Okay, this is a video showing how I reset myself back into ketosis. Uh, I'll do this after a feast day. I will also do this if I've been uh, incorporating diet variation and out of ketosis for a while. So it is summer. I haven't been deep in ketosis. I've been adding in diet variation. We now have a travel day. I always fast on our travel days. We are headed to CrossFit Games in Wisconsin. And so throughout today, I'm gonna to be testing to show what happens. So I guarantee I'm not in ketosis at this point. Um, I usually test myself. Jason is just doing this so I can hold the camera. But Keto Mojo is what we use. It's super helpful to know your ketones and your blood glucose. It helps you figure out what you can and can't have that'll pull you out of ketosis. So in our seven week program, I'm at point two. Point two, so that's low. You wanna be point five at least. Um, let's do sugar too, just to see. So my goal today is just to hit 0.5. Um, when I'm doing more clean eating fasting, I will hit higher numbers definitely, but I haven't been in in a while, so 0.5 will make me happy. Uh, this blood meter is super easy. I'm someone who passes out big time. True story. <laughs> Uh, when I give blood, so I can do this no problem. It's really not a big deal, but it definitely helps you learn a lot about your body, and I think it's really important for people to do. Glucose, 97. Uh, it's good to be below 100. Um, stress will raise glucose. We are getting ready to travel. I do have a little bit of stress, so that's probably affecting it. Also a true story. <laughs> I'm a very good traveler. All right, so I will keep testing throughout the day, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so it is now just one hour later. We are at the airport at our gate, um, but I'm gonna test out of curiosity and just see if my ketones are trending up yet. I'm not even gonna check my glucose. Um, I get stressed at the airport, so I know my glucose is gonna be high. So I'm just watching, again, my goal today is to get my ketones to 0.5. So this again is just my way of um, resetting out of feasting, out of diet variation, um, out of back, you know, getting back into ketosis low. So, so what happens is when you're stressed out and your glucose goes up, your, your ketones, ketones go, go down. down. So case in point, I should probably not monitor my ketones when I'm going through security and when I'm at the gate. I feel, I feel outwardly calm actually. Okay, Jason wants me to check my glucose. Um, but this is cool for you guys to see because anyone who's gonna use these strips, these are things that are important. So if people feel like they're eating clean, um, but their ketones are not going up the way they would expect, or if their glucose is spiking, Cortisol, adrenaline, stress plays a huge role and really impacts this stuff. My glucose is 99, not too bad. Okay, so I will test at some point on the airplane and um, watch for my ketones to go a little bit higher. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna have some fat uh, that helps me get into ketosis. So I will get a black coffee and then um, I bring, I'll show you what I bring for travel. So I'll do almost like a fat fast. I love these. They're travel packs. Um, I'm someone who gets into ketosis easier if I get fat in. So I'll put some of this in my coffee and I bet that's gonna help my numbers. Okay, I'm on the airplane. It's almost 11 o'clock. Let's see where I'm at. I don't quite feel like I'm in ketosis yet. It is now 1.45 East Coast time. We're in 
Wisconsin, so it's actually 12.45. I am in ketosis. I hit 0.5 on the airplane. I'll see what I am now, and that's probably the last time I'll test because I assume we're going to eat soon. So again, I've worked this in. This is what we do on our travel days. It makes things so much easier, so I don't have to worry about finding clean food at the airport. Um, and then we just eat eventually when we get somewhere. So I'm 12.5, so I haven't raised a lot, but I do feel really clear, so I can tell I'm back in ketosis.